adenine may be clinically important for renal clearance, but high levels of it may severely affect your kidneys in the long run. Certain diseases may develop due to the toxicity caused by impaired kidneys, and they may turn your life upside down. In our previous video about the waste product creatinine, we shared with you 8 ways on how you can lower creatinine levels naturally. Today, we will tell you some of the signs and symptoms that you should be aware of in order to prevent liver damage or kidney diseases that may lead to costly medications like dialysis. Before we get started, if you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe to Natural Education for more helpful content, and hit that bell icon as well so you can stay updated with our new videos every week. Number 1. Nausea and Vomiting Creatinine is a waste product that comes from the compound creatine, which is produced by your liver and is present in some foods such as red meat. Since creatinine is considered trash, it is being filtered by your kidneys from your blood and flushes out of your body in the form of urine. High creatinine may indicate kidney problems because your urinary system is unable to get rid of this excessive waste efficiently. Therefore, kidney failure and infection can cause the primary symptoms of nausea and vomiting. Nausea is also one of the first signs of high creatinine levels caused by nephrotoxicity or too many medications. Some of your maintenance medicines may hurt your kidneys by causing creatinine buildup. These medications may include cardiovascular drugs, antibiotics, diuretics, lithium, and painkillers. To prevent this from happening, you may check out our first video about 8 ways to lower your creatinine levels naturally. Learn about the foods, drinks, and habits that you can do to reverse the symptoms of high creatinine levels. Number 2. Edema or Fluid Retention Another symptom of high creatinine levels is fluid retention or fluid overload that happens particularly in the lower part of your body. Same with nausea and vomiting, this symptom may manifest when your kidneys are already impaired. Edema is the condition associated with fluid retention, which may be characterized by swelling and aching of the hands and feet, including the ankles and legs. Someone who suffers from fluid retention may still have stiff joints and rapid weight gain. There are also other causes of fluid overload such as hormonal changes, pregnancy, and dietary deficiency. That's why it's better to consult your doctor first before taking any medication. To avoid this symptom and prevent your creatinine levels from going up, make it a habit to incorporate fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole greens into your diet. Fiber-rich foods help cleanse your kidneys, and they also aid in removing wastes from your body. Number 3. Chest Pain and Irregular Heart Rate Besides high blood sugar, high blood pressure is one of the leading conditions that cause high creatinine levels. Hypertension tends to forcefully push your blood on the walls of your arteries. This pressure may weaken or damage the blood vessels around your kidneys and it may affect their normal function, causing creatinine levels to rise. The normal and acceptable creatinine level for men is 0.6 to 1.1 mgdl and 0.7 to 1.3 mgdl for women. Women tend to have lower creatinine levels than men because women usually have less muscle mass, which prevents creatinine levels from being very high and causes all these horrible symptoms. Anything that exceeds the normal creatinine levels may indicate that your kidneys are not working properly and heart problems may start to arise. Symptoms of high creatinine levels include chest pain or angina and irregular heart rate. Cardiovascular diseases such as atherosclerosis and congestive heart failure cause high creatinine levels. And as we briefly mentioned before, these are often linked to the constricted blood flow through the kidneys. Have you tried consulting your doctor regarding the amount of creatinine levels that you may have in your blood? Tell us about it in the comments below and let us all spread awareness. Number 4. Fatigue and Muscle Cramps Using your muscles too much may increase creatinine levels since you gain muscle mass through exercise, especially high-intensity training. Most physically active people, particularly athletes, also eat foods and take supplements that contain creatine. Creatine is the compound that produces creatinine, thus too much creatine intake may lead to more creatinine as well. Fatigue and muscle cramps indicate high creatinine levels when your impaired kidneys result in a buildup of impurities and toxins in your blood. This can make you extremely tired, weak, and you may even find it difficult to concentrate as well. In some cases, confusion becomes a sign of high creatinine levels since blood flow to your brain may also be affected by the problems in your kidneys. 
lifestyle and dietary changes may help you combat high creatinine levels. You may start by staying hydrated all the time, reducing salt and protein intake, avoiding the overuse of pain relievers, and limiting your alcohol intake. In drinking fluids, make sure to check with your healthcare provider first about the amount of water that you should drink in a day. Some foods that may help repair damaged kidneys include citrus fruits such as oranges, dried fruits such as raisins, melons, bananas, and avocados. If you feel that this information is helpful, why not consider being part of this education family by subscribing to our channel? We tend to cover various health-related topics and make science enjoyable. And finally, number 5. Changes in Urination There are several changes in urination that may indicate increased creatinine levels and other diseases. Passing low amounts of urine, painful and frequent urination, dark or bloody, may all contribute to damage to your kidneys. They may also be caused by high muscle tone and high blood sugar. Due to elevated creatinine that impairs the kidneys, urinary tract blockage may also develop over time when urine accumulates in them. This condition is called hydronephrosis, which is characterized by the swelling of your kidneys caused by urine buildup. When the ureters get blocked, it won't allow your urine to drain from the kidneys properly, resulting in back pain. High creatinine levels are diagnosed through a blood or urine test. The standard blood tests measure the amount of creatinine in your blood as well as how much creatinine is cleared from your body. This process is called creatinine clearance and it is believed to calculate the rate of filtration by your kidneys. According to Charles Patrick Davis of Medicine Net, creatinine clearance can be measured in two ways. The first one is by using serum creatinine levels and getting the patient's weight and age. The formula is 140 minus the patient's age in years multiplied by their weight in kilograms times 0.85 for women divided by 72 times the serum creatinine level in MGDL. The other the other way is by collecting a 24-hour urine sample and then drawing a blood sample. The health professional will then determine and compare the results of the blood and urine tests. However, at the end of the day, make sure to involve a healthcare professional to discuss this. High creatinine levels are a condition that you shouldn't take for granted. This is the first sign that your doctors will look at if you have a problem with your kidneys. And take note that damaged kidneys may lead to complications and more serious diseases in the future. To continue with this topic, we suggest checking out our video about the ways on how to lower creatinine levels naturally. We hope that it can be really helpful.